And that string broke so one thing I noticed that the natural string broke is right near the knock and I can see it's pretty rough here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a really fine sandpaper and really sand that knock so there's no sharp edges and also wax the string I also realized it didn't wax the string and of course I want to finish the bow by sanding everything and getting it nice and pretty we're almost done but I just got to sand the bow Reduce the draw weight, which will be a, be a fun draw weight, and yeah, that's it. There you go, that's bending a lot better now. Okay, here you get more bend, you're having a hinge. start of a hinge. Yeah. So take a lot, a little bit more here, a little bit more here, here, and here. Yeah, and here a little bit more, here. Okay. And then you have to take more evenly, evenly here. Okay, thanks. Here you go guys, 26 inches and the hinge is almost fixed. I'll just uh, shave a little bit more that way and the hinge should be fixed. Filming. It's filming? Okay, it's 26 inches. Let's see what draw, uh, what draw weight we get, 26 inches. Look, come over here. I try to show the red tape and okay what's the number so first let's test it with the synthetic string oh these are really long arrows for my Asiatic bow so it's gonna look like I don't pull far but they're long arrows One forty-three. Zoom in. One forty-three. One fifty FPS. One fifty FPS. So it's one fifty FPS with uh, heavy arrows with a synthetic string. So now we have light arrows. Here's the grain below. Uh, so they're gonna shoot a lot faster. 178, 178 FPS. <sighs> 167, 167 FPS. One sixty four. And just for fun, let's do an Algonquin tertiary draw. I don't train much with this draw, so I'm not good with it. It's a pinch draw. It's it's not fun. Ugh. 155. I can't pull far with the Algonquin tertiary draw. 176. See, that makes sense. So. One seventy two point three. So they're about the same. Now let's test it with the organic strings. It's going to make a huge difference in my opinion. 100% manila hemp. It's going to shoot slower in my opinion. Let's see how much slower it shoots. Are you ready for the result? Okay, turn it off. And it stretches a little bit. It's going to shoot slower than the synthetic string in my opinion, but let's see how, how, how much slower it shoots. What do you think? I hope it doesn't break. One forty three. One forty three on these heavy arrows. What did we get last time with the synthetic string? One fifty. One fifty. One fifty. So slightly slower. Error. You vote. One forty two FPS with the uh, Manila hemp string. 
146 with the manila hemp. It's about the same, it's just slightly slower, but it's a less durable string. So compared to the first part of the video, the biggest difference is I put some wax, I put beeswax, and I think it makes a difference because it grinds onto the loops. And I have a feeling that's the reason why. So it's doing a lot better now. Now we're gonna use the lighter arrows and I have a feeling it's gonna kill the string very fast because lighter arrows will get create a lot more stress on the bow and the string. Ready? Light arrows. 167. 167 FPS. Error. Oh, it's error. I'm gonna cut it out. One sixty-six. One sixty-six. It's a really fun shooting bow. Surprise how fast an organic string is doing. One seventy-seven FPS. One seventy. 170 FPS. I'm super happy. An organic string doing 170 FPS. I'm very happy. The wax is a secret, I noticed. Wax it a lot and it'll last a lot longer. Look, I love heavy bows, so I made a heavy one. There's people making lighter ones, there's people making heavy ones. Would this straw weight be historical? Yeah, about 100 pounds. I'd say, so. I'm sure somebody did it and maybe quite a few people did it because uh, there were warriors and some of them just want to make heavy bows because they want to penetrate more or they just want to show off their strength So I'm sure some people made heavy bows um, But we don't know what, what exact weight they were making um, But in my opinion uh, Considering how hard it is to pull a hundred pounds with a Gonquin tertiary draw I have a feeling either they would have to change their technique for heavy bows like how, what I'm doing or um, Maybe the Gonquin tertiary draw is just one technique they use for um, and it kind of shows that for most of their bows, it would be less draw weight than 100 pounds because the pinch draw is very hard to get. The pinch draw is very hard to get 100 pounds. You really have to use your back. And even if I use my back with the pinch draw, I feel like I'm going to release the string anytime with my pinch. My, my pinch is not strong enough. Even if I put two or three fingers underneath, it's still really hard to pinch to pinch draw this. I didn't shave it for that long. The draw weight got reduced to like three pounds, which is not much. 91 pounds now. Um, I don't want to keep shaving because I like heavy bows and it gets tedious sanding it. So now we're going to finish the bow and the historical finish for uh, the Gonquin people, one of the ways to finish is to use animal fat. Now this is pork, which is not historical, but bear fat or deer fat or any kind of North American animal, turkey fat, could work. Unfortunately, my girlfriend told me I can't use this to finish the bow because all the bows I have are stored in the house and she's concerned that this stuff is going to attract uh, flies or animals or rats. So I'm going to use a more modern finish which is linseed oil um, and then I will finish it with beeswax. Let's put the linseed oil. This is just mainly to make the bow look nice. It's very cosmetic, cosmetically pleasing. So I use this. So I finished the bow and I'm very happy with the results. Pulling about 90-ish pounds at 26 now which uh, I think is good enough for hunting. You don't need to pull it to 27 or 28. But uh, yeah, it's doing pretty well. It's got a, the, the manila hemp string has settled with this much brace height, which is functional in the sense that it doesn't hit my hand. It's a little low, I could increase it a little bit higher, but um, a lower brace height, less strain on the bow, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's just a very primitive bow without any sinew backing. No, no, no backing at all, it's just a self bow. Thanks for watching. It's Jack from Historic Archive.